My name is Addison Graham. I am a Illinois State University student studying special education with specialty in low vision blindness. And I'm also getting a certificate in early intervention. And I wanted to go over a resource that I created. Full disclosure, I um, use the itinerant teaching textbook Appendix C as a base uh, baseline for creating this um, classification system. Um, in Appendix C, it gives almost like a Dewey Decimal system uh, that's specific for an itinerant teacher. I, on the other hand, created a classification system using uh, Appendix C in collaboration with ChatGPT and Bing AI, which uses ChatGPT, and formulated a, um, a classification system that's not necessarily like the Dewey Decimal System, but it is numerical in its organization. For my specific needs and what I was creating this for, I have a um, professional development library. I'm not using this for my own personal. I, and obviously, I, my own personal library is not big enough to do this kind of thing with, but we have a classroom here at Illinois State University in Fairchild where we have a lot of resources. So I developed this um, in an attempt to offer a, a different system of organization. Here are, we have, it is divided into two main categories, professional development resources and lesson plan materials. Obviously, you can use this to, for your own needs. Um, one way that I see in particular how this could be helpful is if you are using the itinerant teaching uh, textbooks Appendix C classification system, or if you're just searching for an updated classification system, this may be helpful in aiding you in that process. Um, with the help of ChatGPT, I was able to wean out a lot of the older terms such as cassette tapes. Um, and, you know, with the computer's help, I was also able to uh, more um, further define and subcategorize a lot of these categories. Um, some of them may not be specific, some of them may not be specific enough. In a future video, I want to go over ChatGPT, but for right now, I'd like to go over this. As always, it will be provided in the Google Drive, linked in my bio, in my Instagram bio, and um, provided in the YouTube link, which either or you are looking at. Um, so right here is a little snippet that talks about how to subcategorize uh, resources, materials that are in one specific category. For example, if you have a um, book on Braille literacy development, um, so maybe like pre-Braille skills. Well, maybe not pre-Braille skills because that, that may go over under early intervention. Um, oh, heck, okay, it is pre-Braille skills, my bad. <laughs> it would be 1.1.3. However, if you have many books, that are specific to pre-braille skills, you can use this table up here to help you narrow down what exactly, um, or how exactly you should organize that. Uh, anyways, let's start off and see if this is, could be appropriate for you. So obviously, like I said, there are two sections, professional development resources and lesson plan materials. Uh, so in professional development, it is categorized by Braille instruction, orientation and mobility, early intervention, uh, CVI, expanded core curriculum, assessment materials and manuals, general education textbooks, special education law and policy, assistive technology and software, and professional journals. Um, in number two, it is categorized by Braille learning materials, 
tactile graphic creation tools, tactile graphic resources, physical manipulatives and curriculums, um, audio and digital resources, games and activities, assistive technology devices for students, uh, adapted materials for students with multiple disabilities, curriculum and instructional resources for specific populations, uh, and multicultural and diversity resources for teachers of the visually impaired. Um, you may, obviously, you'll notice some overlap. For example, professional development uh, resources under that, I could probably put multicultural and diversity resources for teachers of the visually impaired there because in a subcategory of um, multicultural and diversity resources, is multicultural literature and resources. So that can include professional development textbooks. You know, that could also include a student's textbook. This is not perfect. <laughs> and, you know, I made it, so it may not be the best. It may, um, may have some critical errors in it. I, ha I am not a, uh, you know, I have not done previous work in developing uh, numerical, classification systems, especially numerical class or classification systems for teachers of the visually impaired in any way, but if you find this helpful, then that is a win for me. Um, if you did find it helpful, please share. If you didn't, um, then I guess you can uh, move on and that's okay. And you might still be able to take some things from it. Anyways, thank you so much for your time.